This is my Quilo. Okay, let's have a look on the other one. Actually, I like this one as well. This is also my second favorite. This is also so cute. I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna find her name. I think this is a lady. So we've got Quilo, and I'm gonna find that name for her. I don't know why I think it's a girl. Let's have a look at this one now. Let's open. <laughs> oh yes, definitely. Definitely this one. Wow, this is huge. That's gonna be like a like a rooster. Look at the size comparison. It's like an ostrich. I think I'm gonna put four of them in the incubate. These are the ones I chose. Uh, so many options. I only need three, but I'm gonna put four because one of them might not be fertile. All of them are so cute. I wanna raise all of them. So we have Quilo. He chose me, I didn't choose him. Here is his sister. This is the big guy. So massive, the ostrich. I'm gonna call him Ostrich. Quilo, Ostrich, the lady. Should we call her Queen? And Albino. Albino. Quilo, Ostrich, Albino, Queen. We're gonna get the incubator set up. I'm gonna write on them their names so we follow their progress. Hopefully we get to see them grow. Hopefully we're gonna have all of them hatch. So stick with me in my new channel. A quail named Quilo. Hi guys and welcome to a new episode of Quail named Quilo. I've been trying to uh, find some information on how to incubate these eggs and I found a very interesting fact. It says here on this website that a quail goes from being an egg to laying eggs in eight weeks. So once one of these eggs hatches, it can start laying eggs after two months. How amazing is that? Quilo. Quilo. Ostrich. Ostrich. Albino. <laughs> Here's Albino and little queen, pointy queen. She's very pointy. It reaches adulthood in two months. Wow, that is weird. And it takes 18 to 19 days to hatch. So we have to set this up for 18 days. Okay guys, so this is my egg cooker and this is my egg incubator. Can you see the similarity between them? Now I believe one of them copied from the other, unless it's a coincidence obviously. Mm, interesting design so similar yet again so different and the humidity has to be between 30 to 45 degrees uh, percent humidity and the temperature has to be 37.5 and I have to keep turning them manually every day obviously every five six hours I have to turn them just like its mother would do in nature you can buy some of them that are automated but this one is not automated you have to manually flip them and also you have to put them pointy side down with pointy because she's already pointy I know which side is pointy and which isn't she is so pointy so I'm gonna put her like that all right nice I was worried that I might break it luckily 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 it didn't break okay here's a, our cord let's connect it connect it this way Okay, so let's raise the temperature to 37.5. No, set. Oh, yeah, here we go. 38. Oh, no, I have to go down. 37.5. Perfect. Set. Okay, and then we have to put a little bit of water. It says up to this mark here, so don't go beyond this mark. Try not to get into the. Okay, don't put too much. Here we go enough water we have to raise that that's our antenna it detects temperature and humidity looks very flimsy so I found this area here which is gonna be my incubator area I'm gonna place that here and close it and wait for it to reach 
the optimum temperature. This is my second channel, it's called Maher channel. Oh yeah, let's write the name of the quail. Have your grandma pull the car around. This is g- called Bulls of Fury. It's a movie and this is where I got the name Quailo from. Quailo? It means round eye. Gringo you, man. So I'm gonna write here Q, this is Quailo. Here is Quailo. I'm gonna put here P for pointy. Here is a P. Let's put an A. Albino. And finally, we've got ostrich for the big guy. O. You're gonna put a big O here. All right, so let's place our little eggs in here. We've got Quilo, pointy side down. Here's our pointy queen, albino. And finally, ostrich. Place them right here. Let's close our incubator. Leave our little babies here. Whoa. Good luck, guys. See you in a few days. This was the second episode of day one, the beginning, and uh, in a few hours' time, I'm gonna flip them. You have to turn them about 45 degrees, and let's see how our quails will turn up. If you like this video, press the thumbs up, click on the like, subscribe for more. If you've got any comments, please let me know. If you have anything you want to add, any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. If they are allowed, because sometimes I disable them. And uh, subscribe for more, share this video if you like it. And uh, if you've got any quails at home, or if you've raised any quails, let me know in the comments as well. I want to hear from you. And that was it. I was Marius. Good to see you. See you in the next time.